Hello everyone, here Hanisha, Samshita and Rishita are here to explain about applications of nanomaterials in defense and aerospace. Some of the applications of nanomaterials used in defense and aerospace. They are adaptive skin, lightweight vehicles, nano drones, anti-ballastic shatterproof, RFID and biometric sensors. Weight vehicles. Vehicles weight reduction is a key part of cars manufacturer strategies to improve fuel economy. The aluminum alloy engine's blocks have led to re uh, reduce engine weight and in turn increase fuel efficiency. Another area is the substitution of mineral glass windows by polymers. Mineral glass windows are replaced by polycarbonate windows to overcome challenges in scratch and long-term ultraviolet resistances. Na uh, Nano-engineered nano thermoplastic materials allow a weight reduction of up to 40% compared to traditional sheet classic, chassis parts. Microscopic strel drones that seek out and repair artery damage could be the future of treatment for heart diseases and stroke. Scientists have carried out successful tests of the nanoparticles in mice and hope soon to conduct the first patient trial. Each tiny particle made from a plastic like material is thousand times smaller than the tip of a human head. These drones are designed to latch on hard deposits of fat, calcium and cholesterol producing clothes. One, once they reach their targets, the drones release a drug delivered from a nat natural proteins that repairs inflammable damage in the body. RFID Tiny electronic transmitters are used to identify and track products and form animals. RFID goes back to 1940 which was adopted by the Department of Defense and Industry to track shipping containers as they make their way around the world. RFID tags are largely silicon based. Paper and plastic tags printed as part of a package would cut cost dramatically. Printed RFIDs are practical because they are passive. The tags power up when hit by radio waves at the right frequency and return the information they contain. The roll-to-roll -roll techniques which use a gravity process rather than inkjet printers to replace the barcodes now phosphated on just above everything you can buy. The anti-ballastic materials are made of Kevlar, Thorin and Dyneema fibers which stop bullet bullets from penetrating the surface by spreading and absorbing the impact of the bullet's force. Graphene could offer applications in body armor and aerospace shielding due to its stiff, strong and elastic properties. The research team built a tailor made stage to line up multi-layer graphene sheets. Using high, high speed cameras, the team was able to capture detailed images of the projectiles penetrating the sheets. Edwin and his team were able to determine the graphene's acts, acts like stretch, stretchy membrane, distributing the bullet's energy over a large area. Carbon nanotubes have been used ex extensively in the pursuit for nano bullet proof materials with a beehive shaped structure and cylindrical nature. These nanotubes have demonstrated incredible strength. These tubes are caved at each end and formed together with covalent bonds to produce nanofibers that are stronger than steel.